Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. If you use the voice transmit functions on the 7300 and you are used to being able to click the mic to stop it from transmitting and suddenly that's not working anymore, I have the answer for why that is. Stay tuned. In March of 2021, I put out a series of videos on the new firmware update 1.40 for the 7300, and it added some really nice functions and features to the radio. A few months after that, ICOM released 1.41, and to be honest, I didn't really pay too much attention to it. I looked at what the features were, and it, it really didn't seem like it was more than a few fixes and my radio was working fine, so I never bothered with it. I recently answered a question that came in from one of you out there about the voice transmit memories and how to stop it from transmitting, and I found out why they came out with 1.41. It added a really important menu feature about the push-to-talk function on the mic button. Let's take a look at that. If I start the radio transmitting, with one of the voice transmit memories and let's say I hit the button and oops I didn't mean to hit that button or I didn't mean to transmit at all you used to be able to just click the mic and it would stop it and you'll notice it's not doing anything the reason for that is when 1.40 came out they changed the function of the push to talk signal on the microphone slightly under normal circumstances, it works as expected. You push it and you get pushed to talk. But instead of being just an input pin, they changed it to be input and output. This is similar to the way the send signals work on the accessory jack on the back of the radio. Frankly, I don't know why ICOM changed this because I'm not sure why they thought this was important on the microphone. So what I mean by a bidirectional signal is if you ground the pin on the push to talk signal it will put the radio into transmit so that's the input part of it if the radio goes into transmit for some other reason maybe because you use the accessory jack on the back or if you're using the voice memories and it's transmitting when it goes into transmit it would ground the pin on the microphone so you could use that signal to signal some other device that the radio was transmitting. Now again, on the accessory jack on the back, that makes sense. If you're connecting to an amplifier or something else that you want to know that the radio is transmitting. On the mic jack, I don't think I'm going to be connecting external equipment. I'm just going to have a microphone. But nevertheless, that's the way they changed it. So if the radio is grounding that pin, then while it's grounded by the radio, it can no longer detect that you're pressing the mic button. So when they came out with 141 a few months later, that was the one critical menu item they added that fixed that problem. So here's how you go change that. Let me get out of the voice menus here, or the voice transmit menu. If we go into the settings menu, it's under the connectors submenu, and under connectors, it's all the way on page four at the bottom. They added one more item that's PTT port function. So this is the push to talk pin on the microphone, and the default in 141, which is basically what it was forced to in 140, is PTT input plus send output. So that's the part where the radio grounds that pin if it's transmitting for any reason. And then, of course, you ground it to transmit. If we go into that setting, whoop, I'm sorry, I'm already in that setting. If you change that to just PTT input, now the radio no longer changes that pin when it's transmitting. So if we go back out, and we go into the voice transmit menus and now if I push the button to transmit one of the memories Hello, 
as soon as I click the mic button, it stops it. Now, this may not be something that many of you use or many of you use a lot. I find it very convenient if I'm working a contest or something and, as I said, you hit one of the buttons by accident or you meant to hit the other one, you can just click the mic button and that'll stop the radio from transmitting. So now, with that menu function, that functionality is restored. And that's all I have on this one. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you'd click that like button. And if you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. And also click on that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.